Hi, everyone. My name is Joshua Budman, and I am the co-founder and chief technology officer of Tissue Analytics. Let me get my mic set up here. Um, I like to start with this slide because can everyone hear me OK like this? OK, there we go. I like to start with this slide because, one, it looks cool. But the second reason is that I think we are a very good example of technology that needed to be applied to an area of medicine that was desperately in need of a technological advance. But we really didn't realize our true potential in terms of usage until we started to embrace these interoperability frameworks like FHIR and HL7. And the Intermountain deployment, the system-wide deployment at Intermountain, I think is a microcosm of that. So like I said, our company is called Tissue Analytics. Our software allows clinicians to track the progress of skin conditions over time accurately and, and more efficiently like never before. So, and as a disclaimer, I guess I should have said this before this came up, there will be a couple gross images. We kind of tone it down for, for the audience typically. This is more clinical focused, but just have to put that out there. So when I was a graduate student at Johns Hopkins University in biomedical engineering, I was rotating through different clinical areas. One of the areas that we rotated through was the wound clinic. And Myself and my co-founder, Kevin Keenahan, literally saw patients and their providers arguing over whether or not their wounds were changing week to week. So we thought there must be a better way to go about this. And the literature corroborates this gross inaccuracy in the field of wound care. In fact, there's a, as you can see on the slide, a 44% error rate with a single provider measuring a wound. And more concerning is that when two of the same providers, two different providers measure the same wound five seconds apart, they'll actually register almost 50% error rates. So there's just really no consistency and there's a ton of noise in this field. So what we've developed is a set of image analysis algorithms using machine learning and computer vision that is automatically able to, from a digital image, very exactly quantify the size and composition of a condition like a wound over time. And you can see that green dot over there. We use that as a calibration marker. So as we moved along in development, we packaged these algorithms into a full telehealth system. We have, it's an asynchronous telehealth system where a clinician will use a mobile application, they'll document a patient's wound, take the picture of the patient's wound, they send that data to our cloud. Our cloud aggregates all that data, performs the image analysis, and sends it back both to the mobile device and to a web application so that the more skilled wound providers can actually track the wounds over time. So after we developed this, we were like, well, we developed something that is more accurate, it's more precise, and it's faster. So why aren't people using it? They just have to double enter data. What's wrong with double entering data? Our naivete became clear later, and, and I alluded to that at the beginning of the presentation. And so what we've done is we've basically embraced all of these open developer programs and the interoperability frameworks like FHIR and HL7 to develop to transition kind of from a telehealth system to a true EMR module for wound care and hopefully in the future for other skin conditions. So of course there is the, the value of the system of, of increased efficiency and improved accuracy. So we transitioned from becoming a telehealth system to a true EMR module. And so now we're basically embracing all of the open developer programs that we can and, and as this shows, we're currently live in production on Epic, Cerner, Athena, and Allscripts programs. That's Code, the App Orchard, the ADP, and MDP programs. And this has really allowed us to kind of bolster our offering from something that only our early adopters are using to something that is truly kind of integrated with everybody's workflow. And so we actually were able to move our value proposition to an even higher level. Whereas before it was just the efficiency and accuracy, now there's an even larger value prop, which is that clinicians can actually maintain a true continuum of care for their patients. So these complex patients that are having to move from home care to the inpatient facilities, to the outpatient facilities, and there was no way to know whether their conditions were healing, now clinicians can actually know this because we can maintain this with our integrated method. So this slide, which looks even uglier when it's small, you can tell that I made <laughs> because it's ugly, and, but hopefully functional. And this shows our architecture. I came and I made this slide and I thought everybody else was going to be kind of on the same page as me making these ugly architecture diagrams. 
Everybody else's architecture diagram was beautiful. So kudos to everybody else for that, and thanks for making me look bad. But basically, the architecture that we use is, a, is, a sim is actually a hybrid approach. And the reason for that is that the fire right services have not yet come up to speed with what we need in terms of wound documentation. One of the things that we're trying to do as a company is create a standard for wound documentation in the fire right protocols. We've actually been working with uh, Dr. Stan Huff at Simi to do that. And so we do a fire-based OAuth process that actually initiates the, the launch of the patient, a priming process, as we call it, of the patient credentials in the tissue analytic system. After that, none of the data is actually cached or stored on the application, but the user can interact with our mobile application, and I'll demonstrate that shortly. Once the user sends the data to our cloud, all of the data is analyzed and processed and aggregated, and we present the data in two ways in the EMR. One way is, and I'll show this all in the demonstration, one way is we use HL7 ORU messages that we've created and, and worked with the backend developers on all of these EMRs to map correctly to discrete fields in the EMR. The reason being is that we're supplanting existing documentation, so that's absolutely necessary. The other is we use our Smart on Fire integration to actually show the patient view of our web portal right inside of the EMR. So I'll go ahead and show both of those. Before I do, I just want to talk a little bit about some of our future angles. The most obvious value this provides long term is that with this better data that we're providing and sending directly into the EMR, we believe that we'll actually be able to create better outcomes in the future because providers will actually be able to look back on this retrospective data and make better decisions. We're already kind of starting to do that. We have evaluated our current data set and we can see that we can generate insights like which treatments are working better for which patients based on the patient characteristics. The looking to expand those characteristics and hopefully provide insights with, with respect to CDS hooks with this better data. We're also looking to expand into other clinical areas and track more clinical conditions. So I'll go ahead and I'll show a demo quickly. The first part of this is going to be a demonstration of our mobile application. Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Budman. I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Tissue Analytics and today I'm going to be demonstrating our Cerner Millennium integration. So the first step of the integration is to prime a patient via Cerner's Millennium. So as you can see here in my list of patients, I'm going to go to the patient Nancy Smart. And to prime the patient, I just have to click on this tab, which will be available right in Millennium. So click on Mobile Wound Care. It's going to go through the steps of looking for the patient and as you can see Nancy Smart has never been entered in our system so there's no wound data available at this time. Now I'm going to show how to actually document a wound for a patient and view this within Millennium itself. Now I'm going to show how to document a wound using the tissue analytics mobile application. So first I'll log in with my username and password. Now you can see a list of patients. If you remember we've already added or primed the patient Nancy Smart. Here you can see her name and date of birth is already pulled directly from Cerner as her MRN will be as well once the patient is primed the way I showed in the previous step. So I'll select the patient Nancy Smart and now I'm going to document a wound for Nancy Smart. I've already added a wound up there just so we can show how to document an existing wound so I'm going to go ahead and click document. Now I'm going to find the wound that we want to photograph. The nice thing is I can use our overlay feature to align the wound on the camera in order to document a consistent image of the wound. So now that I see that I'm aligned I will take the picture. As we've taken two pictures in recent rapid succession it primes it prompts me and asks me if it's a post debridement image I'm going to select no in this case just for demonstration purposes and I'll continue so here's some more documentation about the wound these are all drop downs none of this is mandatory I'll just do a few of these I can also add tunnels 
in regions of undermining. And all of these will be calculated automatically depending on how the user adds them. The next step is to add dressings. Again, this is also non-mandatory. The image has already been sent for analysis. These are just some drop downs. And that's it. I'll send this report. And then we can see all of our result, results in Cerner after this. Now I'm going to show Tissue Analytics first of its kind Smart on Fire integration. So as you can see, we're in Nancy Smart's chart right in Millennium. And you can actually visualize Tissue Analytics browser right from inside Millennium using the Smart on Fire capabilities. So here are the two wounds that Nancy Smart has. As you can see, when I click on the wound, all the measurements are automatically collected. We do the length, the width, the perimeter, and the total area, and it's a true total area. We also can plot the measurements over time. As you can see, it stays very stable because it's the same wound. And we even show the series of photos down below so you can see exactly how the wound is changing. So once again, all of this is fully automated. All you have to do is use our mobile application, which automatically syncs with your patient list and you've successfully used Tissue Analytics Smart on Fire integration with Cerner. Thank you.